Morning, and what a difference a day makes. In fact, yesterday we hit 70 in downtown Salt Lake City. That set a record. It's pretty unusual for it to get that warm after late October. The latest we've been uh, up to the 70 degree mark was November 19th. That was back in 2007. And now behind the cold front that moved in overnight, temperatures gone into a free fall and we've got that snow coming down. Uh, so you can see we're off to a cold, wet start. Temperatures barely above freezing in Park City at 34. Same temperature we have in downtown Salt Lake City. It's in the upper 30s in Green River, near 50 degrees currently in St. George. Now some rain in lower Washington County, but also some snow coming down. Heavy at times over the mountains, mainly off to the west of I-15 showers stretch into east central Utah, where most of that is coming down north of I-70. But the more extensive precipitation we've had this morning has been in the north. It started out as rain in the valleys, and about an hour ago, we saw that change over to snow. No big surprise, considering that cold front is moving through and a disturbance moving north along the front helps strengthening it. And as a result, we're getting those heavier showers. And with that cold air getting pulled down to the surface, we've seen that change over to snow. Now, snow showers continue for the uh, second half of the morning, but then as we start to warm up again by midday, if not even before that, we'll change back over to rain and the showers should taper off by early afternoon. So later in the day, things are going to be uh, looking a lot better. Great news for the evening commute. In addition to the precipitation, gusty winds in Castle Country late morning into this evening, but then by later tonight, everything quiets down. But by then we'll have quite a bit of snow piling up in the mountains, which will be heavy at times. A lot of the mountains could get six to 12 inches, a little less than the Wasatch Plateau, might end up with close to a foot in the Cottonwoods, a few inches along the Wasatch back, and even some of the valleys getting anywhere from a dusting of up to an inch along the I-15 corridor of Western Utah, as well as in the north. Most of that should be on grassy surfaces. Tomorrow, it'll be sunny, start to warm up again, but then you'll drop into the 50s in St. George this weekend as another cold front moves in. And in northern Utah, it's going to be looking good tomorrow. We'll be off to a chilly start, but it'll become partly cloudy with the temperature climbing back into the low 50s, which is pretty close to average for this time of year. Mid 50s on Thursday and Friday, but by Friday afternoon, the next storm moves in. Valley rain, mountain snow gets going with another rain snow mix back down to the valley floors by Saturday. We'll get a break at the end of the weekend, but then another cold storm brings more valley snow by Monday next week.